guys welcome back to the channel and in this video we're doing a recap of the bachelorette season 17 episode one yes it has been a while since uh, matt season season 25 and now it's time for the ladies and in this case we got katie so we're going to talk about her in a minute but if you are new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications. If you like the video, smash the like button and drop a comment down below. So let's get this started. Now, of course, after all of the hoopla from the previous season, we got Katie. And a little bit of background on Katie. She's from Seattle. She grew up very poor. Her parents divorced when she was a baby. And now, you know, after everything that she's been through throughout her childhood, she is now ready to find love. And she's very optimistic about a reality TV show being the way to do it. Now, Katie is also surprised that new host Caitlin and Tasha is with her. And, you know, they give their best advice. And one of those things is to not rule anyone out on night one. And Katie says that, you know, she's excited to see the guys and it's for them to see her serious side because she's known to be silly. Now, all we got to see on Matt's season was her combating bullying. So, okay, I'm interested in the silly side. Let's check it out. But, um, you know, she's really excited. I'm looking forward to this season as well. And I'm glad to see, you know, Tasha and Caitlin is there to assist her. Because for a while, she thought she was alone. As we all know, Chris Harrison is not on this season as the host. But um, at least they have somebody, uh, a, well, a couple women who is their experience as what she's going through. So, it's time for the limo arrivals. And... Of course, we got uh, Tasha and Caitlin spying on Katie from the house. And, you know, I think that was pretty fun. And, of course, being the Bachelorette is a fun yet silly experience. So, the first guy she happens to meet is this guy that arrives in the back of a pickup truck full of balls. And this is Trey. Trey is a 26-year-old software engineer and, I, you know, I, I, the thing about the show, you have to show up fun and make yourself memorable. So we're going to get to see a lot of that tonight. Okay. So then we got Greg. Greg is this 27-year-old marketing sales rep. She said he kind of looks like her ex-boyfriend and I don't know if that's good or bad. But as we see later, they got a little bit more chemistry than, you know, she's leading on. So, we'll see. So, next up, we have Andrew, who is 26, a pro football player in Austria, who pretends to have this English accent. And, you know, he reveals that it's fake. But, um, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool james arrives in this giant gift wrap box but says that she can only open the gift once they get inside so we don't get to see him right away at all but hmm it's definitely a pleasant surprise there were also a ton of variety of sex jokes for example cody who's 27 who's a zipper sales manager takes a page out of katie's book and show up with a blow up doll and the thing is that she is so comfortable with her sexuality it didn't even phase her none now, we also have Connor B., who is a 29-year-old math teacher who arrives in this cat suit and, I should say, cat costume and make a bunch of cat uh, puns. It's mice to meet you. You get the idea. And she absolutely loved it. And when Tasha and Caitlin ask who caught her eye, she says, I'm really focused on Connor the cat. I am loving this right now. So now they're inside the house, I should say resort. Katie chats with all of the guys. And the one standout guy is Greg, 
who teases that his very talented niece makes specialty necklaces. And he was able to get one for Katie, but then reveals that she's only three and it's a pasta necklace. I thought that was cute. Now, I mean, the joke didn't work so much, but it was cute and really endearing. Plus, he was very nervous. So, um, I actually think um, one of my picks is going to be this guy because she really found a connection with him. And we'll see a little bit more of Greg later. So then Katie also is talking with Justin. He's this 26-year-old investment sales consultant who painted her a canvas with roses in the shape of a heart. Now, the middle is empty, but it represents the void in his own heart. Okay, some people might have thought that was cheesy. But then suddenly they're kissing. So it looks like mm, it went well enough, right? So I guess the most disturbing moment after we see the whole interaction um, with uh, Katie and Justin is 31-year-old Jeff, who's a surgical skin salesman who takes Katie to the vintage RV that he rolled up in and says, and normally you shouldn't go in vans with strangers, but tonight it's a little bit different. Now, once he's inside, he offers her a plate of vegetables and dip in a plastic supermarket tray and an odd brown beverage. Just sitting there without a lid is just iced tea, he says. Don't worry. I'm not going to bring you into an RV and give you alcohol and just try to show you the bedroom. Okay, that vibe was creepy. But by the way, you know, with him being a surgical skin salesman, it's a real thing. But the producers definitely took advantage of that whole situation. But in Katie's confessional, she said that she just wasn't fulfilling the vibes with the RV. And I thought it was kind of different too. Shocking. So now Trey is the exact opposite of Jeff. He is a very easy, confident, calming energy. He takes Katie out to enjoy a cocktail in the truck ball pit and suddenly blurts out, do you have a middle name? And she says, by the way, my middle name is Lane and his is Marcel. So I thought that was kind of cute. I mean, it was, yeah, it was definitely a, a switch off from what she had uh, did with the whole RV situation. But look like in the midst of all of this, Katie is taking it in stride and she is having a great time. So let's talk about this weird altercation where Aaron, who's the 26-year-old insurance agent, agent, is suddenly confronting Cody. I don't like you, bro, and I've never liked you, and that's fine. We don't have to talk at all. And, of course, Cody is visibly confused and says he doesn't agree with anything Aaron said in his confessional, but he was like, what the hell? And, I mean, I'm saying the same thing, but that was the first and last we heard of all of that. I don't know if he's auditioning to be the villain, but okay, Aaron. Now, by the way, though, James is still inside the box he had arrived in. I don't know if this is an edit to make it look like Katie didn't open the box right away because it's not the first thing that you do. But the box was moved to a private room for the big reveal. And we see James jump out and Katie thinks, he, oh, my God, he's super hot, which means the reveal was worth it, I suppose. Now, a couple of the guys are uh, worried that Katie will give the box the first, the guy in the box the first impression rose as if not seeing him immediately means that she, you know, would give that to him. But they want him to be disqualified. It doesn't make sense at all. But it was definitely a, you know, a, uh, a pleasant surprise for her. And I got to say with James, his eyebrows are so perfectly clean. I need to know where he go to get his eyebrows done. They look good. Then there's Connor, the cat. He gives Katie her own cat ears and mittens and they play twinkle twinkle little star on his big giant keyboard. And then the conversation turns a little bit more serious as she shares that she couldn't stop thinking about him. And he tells her she's doing wonderfully as the Bachelorette already. And then they start making out. 
Now, just as cute without all of the costume, Katie declares when he take, um, of course, if once she's done kissing him, because they were really getting it in, and she definitely obliged. So, obviously, she had him on the mind. But, as I was about to say, she decides to take off his cat hat, and they get right back into making out not missing a beat from where they left off. So I actually, between Greg so far and Connor the cat man, I actually can see uh, a chemistry and a connection there. So I'm really looking forward to seeing where they're going to go. So Katie has a particularly interesting conversation with Michael who's a 36-year-old business owner who tells her that he has a four-year-old son. Now, when he asked Katie if she wants kids, she said, I definitely want kids in some way, I think. But as that she'll be fine if it meant being with someone who already had children and she's not against being with someone who doesn't want kids either. So she's open to all scenarios. I thought that was pretty cool. She's flexible. So now it's time for the first impression rose, which everybody wants it. And especially Mr. Connor, the cat man. But she gives it to Mr. Nervous Greg, which uh, he was on my list for a clear reason. And then, um, you know, I honestly think they got a connection. I actually think those two are cute together. But again, I also have Connor and, you know, right right in second place behind them but um greg was definitely happy he was nervous he was excited he didn't realize that he was going to get that first impression rose however that made mr connor catman really sad because he thought that it was in the bag for him so the rose uh, ceremony is about to begin and the following people who names, well, I mean, we had to go through all of them because it's 30 guys. So the first one who got a rose was Trey and then there was Michael. And I was wondering, because that's a lot of folks, I think they narrowed it down to 22. Garrett gets one and then we have, um, well, that was Thomas and then Garrett and then we have uh, Connor B, a.k.a. Mr. Catman. And then we have um, Andrew. And then we got James, a.k.a. The Box Man. And then Justin. And then um, we can't forget about not Courtney, but Courtney with the Q. And then we have Carl. Um, we have Mike. John, Kyle, Andrew M, Josh, Connor C, Brendan, David, Aaron, Christian, Hunter, and Cody. Now, let me know what you guys think about her picks. I mean, I could see that she has a connection with Connor B and Greg. I even see maybe Trey. And I'm kind of interested to see what happened with James, who is the box guy. But, you know, as the, and, hey, this is episode one. So, I mean, we got a lot more episodes to go. It's just the beginning. But um, there was a couple of folks that I didn't even see introduced on the show. And I don't even know this guy's name. They kept showing him. At least they gave him some camera time. This guy with the long hair. I don't even know who he is. I do remember him um, because Austin, Brandon, Gabriel, Jeff, the RV guy, which just passed, Landis, I mean, Landon, Marcus, and Marty was eliminated. So, yeah, I honestly think that she got the right group, but I will say uh, it's refreshing. I like Katie. She seems so down to earth. I was definitely cheering her on amongst all of the bullying from 
uh, mat season. So I'm looking forward to it. Let me know what you guys think. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's been a while since the last season. I'm looking forward to season 17 and 18 and Bachelor in Paradise. But until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you soon.